hello everyone uh, welcome to bpo interview tutorials uh, today we are going to see our topic which is uh, cause and effect diagram which is also known as ishikawa diagram or else fish for di fish bone diagram before moving to the video guys uh, please do subscribe my channel to get the notification for all the videos also click on bell icon guys so that uh, you will be the first person and uh, you will get the notification on uh, at the first instance itself whenever a video has been uploaded also like my videos guys if you have if i have give you the correct information and please share my videos on your social media share it with your friends so that they will guys get to know about the uh, job role and uh, definitely they will crack their interviews so fish bone guys as you can see over the screen also and this is one of the seven quality tool guys again this quality tool will help you to make your performance better and uh, to get the exact evaluation over the uh, process guys so that we can do the process improvement and it is also known as a brainstorming session i will explain you with the help of example guys so just make a note of these points if uh, hr is asking you what do you understand by fishbone diagram the second question here where the hr will ask you or else manager will ask you why we are using the fishbone diagram or else ishikawa diagram so guys uh, these are the certain points you need to keep in your mind the first one is discover the root cause of the problem to identify the root cause of the problem like uh, what is happening and why i required to design the fishbone diagram identifying why my process is not working so to identify like uh, why and where is the issue so where i need to work so that i can get the improvement in my process and uh, check out the bottleneck guys bottleneck i will explain you with the help of example my in the upcoming slide and uh, after doing all the research asking all the questions and all we will come up with some common understanding on those understanding we actually need to work so that we can get our performance increased and uh, we may improve our process also so this diagram can be used at process level we can use it for the individual team also it totally depend on the analysis what you guys are doing there and, uh, keep your five points okay so you guys can keep your five points over here and uh, the five points like i will keep machine so machine in the sense if my my team performance is getting reduced i will sit with the team lead i will sit with my employees i will ask them okay i will ask them what is the issue with the machine are you facing any issue with the machine machine in the means uh, the tool where they are taking the calls maybe the tool where they are uploading the data okay where they are adding their comments if there is any issue with the machine where in it taking time maybe network issue or maybe uh, maybe there is some technical issues over there due to that my associates are not able to focus so if there are anything we will identify over there method method in the sense i will keep method as in my process knowledge so either my associate have a good process knowledge or is enough process knowledge to handle that particular call okay so i will cross check with some brainstorming session over here i will ask some common questions the wherein i am getting the lots of dent so after going with the multiple questions i will get to know like uh, either my team have some process gap or not manpower manpower again like uh, i will be aligned to one particular team lead right so if i'm aligned to uh, one particular team lead i need to cross check over here is either all the associates are present or not either we have a shrinkage like for an example he is an employee he is getting regular defect and I, even i can see that person is not regular in the office as well right like uh, after two days he is coming to office and next day he is not coming to office so there is some kind of shrinkage i can identify here so manpower also i need to cross check because guys again if the team is doing well definitely your score will get increased so manpower is the main point even manpower i can also consider do i have a support function over there with my particular team team lead is there to support you guys but still we required one sme right so do we have any support function over there so that my team will get a proper support and uh, we may reduce this uh, errors and we may get the good csat over there management management again uh, if there is any issue with from the management side so that is completely different totally depend upon the associates and their thought material material i can consider here like uh, uh, mouse is not working maybe there is an issue with the screen uh, the screen is quite dull so that uh, we are unable to identify the things properly so these are the basic uh, terms we may get from the employee side from the team lead side and we may note it on um, our uh, desktop 
or else wherein wherein you are creating this uh, uh, cause and effect diagram so in this way we can identify clearly like what are the basic if if we are sitting with the team lead if we are sitting with the employees definitely we will come up with some common understanding and with the help of those we can come up uh, with a certain point that yes if i'm working on those particular point definitely my performance will get increased so this is all about uh, the fishbone diagram and i have mentioned the same point over there the first point tells like you need to mention everything on the whiteboard or maybe you can use uh, doc file you can also prepare this over the pen or paper guys after doing that check out the uh, uh, main problems main problems wherein you are facing the issues here they have mentioned like method machine people material measurement uh, environment so many problem you can identify guys totally depend on you like what point you need to keep over here next uh, categorize all this problem uh, fishbone rows i have mentioned all the problems in the fishbone rows now i have already explained you ask why that is happening where is the issue over here so ask this question multiple times by yourself while asking to the team team lead so that you guys will come up with some common understanding right now you need to focus on those common understanding so that we will reduce this uh, errors this defects and we can improve our performance so this is again uh, a theoretical process uh, wherein we kept that all the theoretical concept in a graph or we can also tell is in a diagram and uh, we came up with some common understanding and we will focus on those so this is all about the fishbone diagram guys and it is easy to prepare easily we can design this okay there we don't require any additional uh, 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 knowledge over here this is just a basic we can design it easily so guys i believe i have gave you the clear understanding on the fishbone diagram and hr will ask you what do you understand by fishbone diagram can you give me a live example where you can use a fishbone diagram they may give you a question or else may scenario like how you identify your errors over here so we have discussed everything and i believe you got the clear understanding on the fishbone diagram and guys i'm telling you uh, while uh, i have seen many many employees or many senior level employees like trainer qa is manager they are working on this diagram they are coming up with a common understanding and again if you are working with the fishbone diagram you alone can't identify all the things you require your team with you the team lead with you or the align uh, trainer whoever available who are aligned to you guys everyone need to be there so that you guys can come up with a common understanding so this is all about the fishbone diagram and guys uh, uh, if you have any doubt anything you want to ask please do comment and uh, just ask me i will try to respond and uh, i will give you more ideas how you guys can design it so this is all about the fishbone diagram guys and uh, if you have liked this video uh, please do like please comment please share your feedback so that uh, it will uh, increase our motivation and we will come up with some more videos also if you have any topics which you guys want to discuss please comment over there so that we can discuss the same over my next video guys at last i just want to tell you uh, we have a facebook page with the name of bpo interview tutorials and we have uh, the instagram page uh, BPO, bpo interview wherein uh, we are posting the uh, job vacancies opportunities uh, in india if we have any vacancies we are posting over there please do like that page and uh, please share subscribe my video if you have liked that and uh, please come up with a new topic and please let me know so that i can help you and uh, i just want everyone to crack their interviews and they get settled with a good salary package thanks a lot guys and thanks for watching